Before we begin to describe the technique of Dal de Vere, I want you to remember what these look like. Hello. Today we're going to talk about Dal de Vere. And I did this, so you might want to know how to spell it. Dal de Vere is French for loosely translated slab of glass. And that's what we're dealing with. Uh, this is a portion of a full slab. It would come out about 11 inches. And this is how it's manufactured. The technique of Dal de Beer was started in the 1930s by a Frenchman using this kind of glass. I have some samples of the colors that I purchased from Statesville Glass because they do a lot of Dal de Beer. And when I went down, they were doing something that used lots of squares. Then, you take the check glass and use a hammer. I couldn't find my rock hammer, so the tack hammer has to do. And you chip it, and it makes facets. like that. Now, how do you use them? Well, they started using it by making their design and a form and then use concrete to hold it together because with the facets you get some irregular edges and it holds. All right. Concrete's pretty heavy. The glass is heavy. So it was terribly awkward to deal with in any size. And not only that, the expansion and contraction of concrete is not the same as the glass. So this gave another problem. It was in the 50s when somebody figured out how to make a two-part resin that would support the glass and not be a problem with expansion and contraction. And that resulted in a usable way to install Dal de Beer. There are two churches in Martinsville that I know of, uh, the Morrill Hill Church out on 58 and the First Baptist on Starling that have beautiful Dal de Beer windows. And now I want to show you a little bit, not only how they're constructed, but how they actually look. Now on top of the resin, the resin is clear. It doesn't show off the glass. They took this material, which is commonly used on flat top roofs, and while the resin had not cured, before it's had time to cure, it's placed on top of the resin and it becomes part of the pattern. And then the black really shows off the glass. The same way it does in stained glass windows, you'll notice that normally they're put together by black seams. This enhances the color. Now, in order to show you the diff, what it looks like, I'm going to take a fairly plain, that one's too big, This is one that has not been manipulated. 
The color shows well, but th there's nothing exciting about it. Right? Okay. Now, we're going to try to make it exciting. You have to watch your fingers. As you notice, I make my own demonstration equipment out of whatever I think I can make work. How about that? That's the reason for chipping the glass. And there's a special name for it that I can't remember, but the facets are named after a muscle because of the shape of the facet. Fascinating. Just another example of art glass. Thanks for watching.